The buzz in West Texas this summer arriving earlier than normal, bringing mosquitoes with it. Local 2's Don Log spoke with health experts to find out if Texans should worry about the mosquito-borne virus Zika stinging the basin. Don. Yes, Stephanie, temperatures are climbing each day, and yes, mosquitoes have made an early arrival. We have Mother Nature to thank for not bringing one last freeze to the basin. But experts from the state health department say more insects doesn't equal higher Zika risk. Nature experts like Michael Nickel say an early visit from mosquitoes this year in West Texas, not out of the ordinary. They, they, they could be around just almost any time of the year. Possibly even an earlier arrival of mosquitoes. Meaning mosquito-borne diseases, also a year-round concern. But the state's Department of Health Services says there's no need to panic about diseases like Zika. It isn't something to be really worried about. Zoonotic epidemiologist Kristen Hollywood says after the state's lack of a late freeze, more mosquitoes doesn't mean there's a higher risk of Zika in the basin, and it's unlikely for it to spread locally. It's actually extremely difficult for it to be locally transmitted because it only stays, the virus stays in our blood for about a week. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't stay away from the sting of a mosquito bite by spraying our skin with repellent with the ingredient DEET, stay indoors at dusk and dawn, which are prime hunting times for the insects, and wear bright clothing, all of which will help prevent you from getting that summer itch. There's always a risk of mosquito-borne disease. I think the best thing is just preventative measures. Experts told me standing water is where you'll get bitten by mosquitoes the most, so keeping away from fountains and even bird baths can help prevent bites. Live in the studio, Don Log, Local 2 News. And I feel an itch coming on. Don, thanks for that. Meanwhile, the White House is increasing efforts to fight the Zika virus. The Obama administration announced today that millions of dollars of unused Ebola funds will be redirected to fight Zika. Health and Human Services says the funding needed for detection, prevention, and response efforts. $589 million will be redirected. Back in February, the administration asked Congress for $1.9 billion in emergency funding. Oh, an available option was re, uh, for the government was to repurpose some existing Ebola funds uh, that would not undermine our fight against that deadly disease. The CDC says the Zika virus is spread to people primarily through the bite of an infected mosquito. The most common symptoms are fever, rash, and joint pain. Stay